My name is Lauren Matthews. I am a birth doula and I teach yoga and Pilates and a few different things um, in addition to that. This is a prenatal yoga sequence that will help you address the lower back aches and pains that come with um, housing a growing baby. Uh, if you have these props, we'll use them. And if not, you can make do without or find something to fill in the place, depending on what you need. Um, I like a blanket, two blocks, and for the very end, if you have a bolster or a big pillow, that's great. And if not, um, not really necessary, just lovely. We're gonna start, if you have a blanket, just unfold it for the knees. We're gonna sit it on the mat and we're gonna start in child's pose. So get your blanket all nice, Bring your knees onto the blanket. Have your blocks nearby. You can use them and also your bolster too for child's pose. You're gonna take your knees wide and your toes together and then just drape your body forward. So depending usually on how far along you are, child's pose is usually a little bit, um, can get a little bit uncomfortable. So I'm gonna give you some options. You can go all the way straight down, normal child's pose arms straight forward, they feel nice. You can grab your blocks, you can rest your head on your blocks to get a little bit of space for your belly. Um, or if you have a bolster pillow, you can also grab one, I'll show you like a lifted bolster situation. You can pull it in. This is really nice if you have like some space for your, for your baby. And normally I would go head sideways. So up to you which version you would like to take. But go ahead and find your child's pose and just start to take a few um, slow, steady breaths into your lower back and your belly. And just start to feel how the ground supports your body. And you can befriend gravity a little bit here. See if you can rest down on the floor in your mat, your blanket. And just see if there's any muscular tension that you can start to breathe through. And as you're breathing, you'll feel your belly and you know, depending on the size of your baby, you might feel your baby rock and sway to the floor on the inhale. And then draw back up into your body on your exhale. And just two more slow breaths here. Just letting yourself land on the mat. As you finish this nice exhale, we'll slowly release out of this posture. So you'll just glide up, find your hands, bring your knees underneath your hips. You can grab the blocks from underneath your hands if you want. I'll go ahead and do that just to show you what it's like. And we'll start moving through some cat cow sequences. So connecting the movement with the breath. It's gonna be an inhale to arch and look up. And then an exhale to round. Normal stuff that you've taken in yoga class before in terms of breath and cat cow. But see if you can let your body just wiggle and move and flow in the type of way that's gonna feel good for you. So for me, in this moment, it's like a little rocking forward and rocking back as I articulate my spine. And you might even like give it like some side wiggles. And then we'll slowly come forward, take one of these circles. You don't have to go all the way down. I just think we can think about three in each direction just to get the body flowing and moving. So nice just to slow, slow everything down and, and move, at least for me right now. Okay, perfect. 
So from here, you're gonna lower onto your forearms. Again, you can be on the floor, you can be on blocks or bolster. And you're gonna bring your knees in so they're kind of closer to underneath your pelvis. We're gonna do some belly lifts here. So what that means is you're gonna press down pretty firmly in your forearms so that it doesn't get too sinky and your head doesn't drop. And then on your inhale, you're gonna let your belly really soften. It's gonna soften down to the floor. And then on an exhale, you're gonna keep all the bones of your spine and pelvis stable, and you're gonna draw your belly up and in. So working with the breath here, follow your breath, inhale, it's a release. There's a release in between the sitting bones as well. And then exhale, bones stay steady. Baby draws up and in. So staying really long through the neck and the back of the shoulders. And then using breath and gravity to start to get a little bit of tone into the transverse abdominis. And that is the abdominal muscle that wraps all around your body, like almost like a belt. It's the deepest ab muscle, the one that's nestled in right next to your uterus. And sometimes just doing like about a round of 10 of these will start to release the tension in the back because it will tone that muscle and it'll tell it, hey, wake up. <laughs> wake up, I need you to support. Help me, help me support my, my body as I have this baby growing inside me. two more. You can think of it as your exhale of lifting your baby up towards your spine and then up towards your heart. And it has like an up and in sensation. Two more. Good. Remembering the sensation, just releasing onto your hands and then let's move the blocks or bolster aside if you're using one. And take a little twist. So easing into this simple, I know there's like a fancy way to get into it, but let's just um, ease onto the right shoulder, right arm underneath the left. If you need to, you can put like a bolster under your head and just slide that from front arm forward. Take just two little breaths. If your baby's a little bigger, a little older, it can feel, this can feel like a really nice way to release some tension from your pelvis. And then hand underneath their shoulder, all the way up. I'm going to draw my shirt back down and just ease the other way. So just a few breaths here, not too many. And then hand underneath the shoulder. Easing yourself up. Kind of rocking side to side. Good. And then let's grab those blocks and bring them back underneath the hands. Same hand on the hand, here on the hands and knees for now. You're gonna lift your knees and press into a downward dog. You're gonna make your feet out as wide as your mat if you'd like. And just like sway side to side. And make sure that you're, I always like to remember that um, blocks are mobile. <laughs> so just stay mindful there. Good. Give your head a little shake, no. And we'll say yes. And then what we're going to do is round the hands back to the feet. Soften your knees as you come back so you can let the spine release. And then we'll wear a zip shirt for your yoga. And that'll soften up. And then from here, we're going to take the feet. We're going to turn them out. That means the whole legs. So I'm going to stick the feet the whole legs are going to come out. We're going to come into a little squat, so a little malasana. If um, this is too much, you can throw some blocks underneath your hips. We're going to be here for a second. You can also throw something up underneath your heels. But the goal here is trying to get a really long back and press into your feet. So we're not just like kind of sitting here. We have some muscular support. And then just take one little twist over. I'm going to keep your hand, just a little rotation in the shoulder girdle. And then same thing to the other side. So really keep pressing into your feet. And then hands are gonna come down, but you're gonna use your legs. Oh, 
They come up and then it's you they dead ways or not. But sometimes I do. Just shift your like side to side here for a moment. And then my knees. Bring your hands off your thighs and press down into your feet. I can move down, back to stand. Ooh, slowly with the head rush. Arms are gonna circle up with the head. Good. Head and hands are gonna be into the heart. Take a deep breath in and out here and find your body in this standing position, whatever that. And then just release your hands down and shake it out a little bit. More, oh, more, more, more. Okay, let's see. Let's move the blanket if you have one. Just move it out of the way. Um, let's bring the blocks up to high height at the front of the mat. And then I'm going to just turn to face you. We're going to do some belly lifts here standing. So even if your baby is like, if you look, if you look like I do, if your baby isn't super big, these are still helpful. Um, so just like what we were doing on our hands and knees, but here standing, you're just going to inhale, keep all this steady. So just let your belly draw forward and then exhale, lift up and in. So the pelvic floor chases the heart baby you lift your baby up to your heart just a few of these just creating this tone and then as I do this I'm still I'm like actually creating a little bit of tone in my glutes so I'm not like squeezing my butt or anything but I'm just like making sure that this area is active and when we're pregnant a lot of times we get into this big tilt to make space for the baby that's normal it happens we're just trying to keep a neutral pelvis for as long as possible. Keep that lower back long, especially if you're feeling that tension, right? So keep space there. Take one more breath, okay? Good. Okay, so releasing this, stepping forward to the front of your mat by your blocks. You're gonna have your hands down by your side. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down so you have a really broad chest. And then we'll take an inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And then an exhale, soft knees, dive forward. Even if you have the flexibility, at least for once, find your blocks and just see how it feels to have um, your hands supported here where you don't have to go all the way to the floor. It can feel nice. And then very slowly press into those blocks to lengthen the, sh the back of the body, the shoulders. Your head comes forward. And then slow, slowing down a little bit, exhale, fold in. With your bend your knees, you're gonna press down with me. Roll up the same, use your hands as much as you need. And then just circle the arms up over the head. And exhale, hands in the heart. And then we're like that big circle in, really. Go up, exhale, soften the knees. Let's come forward. Let the head go. squat here. Inhale, for the strip up. Exhale, for the fold forward. Inhale, for the lift. And then adding the change, it's going to be an exhale. Bend the knees. Come into a little squat. Maybe this is kind of remind you of when you go to the bathroom in a public restroom. <laughs> That's what I always think. All right. And then press into the legs to fold forward. And then bend the knees round up. So we'll do some of those squats in here. And then hands into the hearts. We'll do two more just like that. Inhale for the circling up. And then you can imagine that your arms are wings and you can really let your arms expand. Inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, supported squat. Good. Inhale, folding forward. Bend the knees round to roll up. Circle the arms. Hands into the heart. Last one. Circling up. And folding forward. Lengthen the spine. And fold forward. Bend the knees. Draw your baby 
your upper limbs roll up, circle the arms, hands into the heart. Good. Just take a little bend of the knees here. Let your hips drop down to the floor. Don't try not to find a tilt either way. And then just straighten the legs. Press down into the balls of the feet. Come up on onto the balls of the feet. And then take a slow lower down. Try to keep your head where it is and spaces your feet lower down. Three more. So one way to keep the lower back supported is just keeping the legs really strong. Um, the woman who taught me how to teach prenatal yoga, who's amazing by the way, um, she would say that our legs basically become our abs because the belly expands, the abs expand and they don't really work in the same way. And so our legs just take on some of that support work for the rest of the body. So really strong legs is super helpful. And we'll go one more like that. And just bending and straightening. Good, good job. And coming all the way down. Okay, from here, just release your hands. We're gonna, excuse me, we're gonna grab our blocks. It's just gonna stay in there because uh, this is real life, right guys? It's not a curated yoga class. All right, so um, you're gonna take your hands on your hips. Your legs are gonna be wide. It's really helpful to have blocks here. So if you don't have blocks, I would say find like um, a chair, like a, like a kitchen chair, office chair, or your bed or your couch or something to put your hands on because we're gonna bend forward. And when you bend forward, you wanna have like a, your, your spine like a, parallel to the floor. I am, um, I don't really like saying tabletop because our spine does have curves, but I'm gonna say like parallel. You don't wanna be like too far forward and then you get rounded all the way. And then think about reaching your sit bones back behind you and your head forward and we're gonna take some windmill arms. So you're gonna take one of your arm and you're gonna rotate to that side and notice how I'm letting my leg and my hip go with me. So let your whole body rotate and then exhale, come back into center, and then rotate the other way. And back into center. And this is, for a lot of people I know, one of the really most helpful ways is just releasing that lower back tension. Okay. And just moving with your breath. So I would say, um, Maybe move a little slower than you're used to. If you're used to moving at a faster pace than what I'm going. And really take a deep, deep, deep inhale as you reach up. And a slow exhale as you reach down. And then let your eyes track your hands. And then reach down. Two more sets, just like that. Okay, down. Once you come all the way into the center, just take one more deep breath and then on the exhale, come into a forward fold. Um, similar to when we did the sun salutations, even if you have the flexibility, see if it feels to bring your elbows onto the blocks. It just is like a different sensation than a full forward fold. But of course, I want you to, I'd like for you to take whatever you would like to do because you know how you feel in your body. Maybe you spread your hips a little bit. And then I just love sometimes when I'm in a ski forward fold, that concept of if you could just crack open your cranium for a moment, take off that top of the skull, and you can just let all of any sort of stress or anything that you're thinking of, just let it just drip out of your head. And go into the earth. Let the earth take that and hold that for you. Might be like a whole projection. It might just be one word. It might just be stress. And then when you're ready, you can replace the top of your 
your scroll back on. Come back in the center. See, you can release the tension in the back of your neck all the way from the back of your head. And a little bit more if there's a little bit more that can go if you are okay with that. And then when you guys walk slow, we're going to bring the hands onto the blocks or the couch or the chair. <sighs> we're going to come up to stand first and then we're going to come to the floor. Sorry, so you bring your hands to your knees. And use your hands to come all the way up to stand. Mindful of the head rush. Every hand finds your belly. And we'll take just a few more of these shakes. I almost feel like the body just like recalibrates back into place. So we kind of recalibrate. All right, we're just gonna do one more thing. We're gonna keep this short. I could um, I could give you a whole like three hour class on things that I think are helpful for the low back, but um, I know how time is these days. And um, for me, a 20 minute class is key to getting into my schedule. And um, it's a pretty good amount of time to feel good in the body. Let's just start with a little side stretch. Reach up and away. doing this because I can't see, but I'm going to guess it's like about 20 to 30 minutes. Start taking these soupy rolls. If you took the first class, you'll remember using one of those labored movements. And quite honestly, it just feels marvelous if you can um, just let your body snake. It doesn't have to look like how I'm doing it. Sometimes it can look angular, sometimes it can look slow. Whatever you're into. And then go the other way. Sometimes I feel like this is like, almost gives me a chiropractic adjustment. Just kind of move it all around. And just take one more circle. And then just come all the way up to sit. Take a breath in. And then exhale out. All right, we're gonna take a Shavasana like this, unless um, you have a bolster and some blocks that you'd like to sit up on. But um, just take a moment, wiggle around, get as comfortable as you can be right now. And we'll go five slow breaths. I'm gonna count it out. So even if you just want to lay on your back for a moment, you can do that. This isn't technically a Shavasana, but you know. All right, so let's see. If you'd like, you can bring a hand on heart and a hand on baby. And then before I start counting, just think of the breath flowing through like your eyes, like in your cranium, your heart, and your pelvis. Think about the breath kind of flowing in and out through those three spaces. I'm going to breathe in for a count of four, and we're going to breathe out for a count of five. So a little down regulation breath. So get ready. One last little regular breath. And then when you're ready, we're going to start breathing in for one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two. Some loud sighs like, uh, 
legs. And then if y'all think you're ready, then the legs of your heart, let's press your thumbs into your chest. And you close the pra practice by bowing your head. And just feeling whatever you want to feel. I want to direct you here, wherever it is. So we'll leave this at this. Hopefully this is helpful. Thank you so much for practicing. Um, if you have any questions about anything, just drop it in the comments. I would be more than happy to, to chat and to answer questions. Um, and also if you have any requests for a specific movement or you know if your ribs are achy or your shoulders, or your feet are, you know, all the, all the things happen. Uh, just let me know and I will more than gladly make you a specific video for that. All right, I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you soon.